Jaguar's all-electric iPace sits on its own aluminium architecture. There's a 90 kilowatt hour lithium ion battery and a motor at each axle. It has 294 kilowatts with 700 newton meters and hits 100 kilometers an hour in 4.8 seconds. It's the acceleration that leaves combustion bangers for dead. There's no lag, just instant surge. This isn't so much an SUV, but rather a jacked up GT. As a commuter car, it's everything you'd want in a luxury liner. There's effortless urge and the progress is hushed and supple. Expect the ultimate range to average between 350 to 400 kilometers, depending on how you drive. Well, we made it to Raglan, just 23 k's left to go, but we found the juice spot and the I-Pace is reducing itself now. What do we learn coming down here? Well, it's actually quite a cool car to drive. It steers really well. Uh, it feels, doesn't feel overly heavy, but you can feel that there is weight when you go and hit the brakes. And that's probably the one thing that uh, wasn't the most fantastic aspect of the drive was the braking. Um, but everything else, uh, the steering, the ride, the handling, the way it does the bumps, uh, it's just really a great car to drive. There's enough power when you come out of the corners. It's not sort of ludicrously fast, but quick enough. Uh, and it's a yeah, very good dynamic thing. Charge rates vary. A three pin charger takes more than 45 hours to charge it. You'd buy the $1,500 7 kilowatt wall box, which is said to charge to 80% in 10 hours. A 30 kilowatt public charger took the battery from 27% in 83 kilometers to 56% with 178 kilometers in 40 minutes. This iPace has plenty going for it, including proper Jaguar dynamics and performance. It might not go quite as far as they claim, but the range and recharge times will suffice for most. New Zealand just needs to get on and install more charge points.